there. the Long Island Aquarium and all of its properties are not booking, so please pray for the welcome all visiting with us today. Next time, we'll be giving you lots of maps, papers, and pamphlets. We ask you to hold on tight and continue to take them, as well as any garbage when you leave. It does get windy in our policy, but anything blowing into any of our outdoor habitats could be harmful or potentially fatal to the animals that live there. Next to the center staircase and ramp to my right, make up our one and only emergency exit, so we ask you to keep those free and clear at all times. Now our show will only be about 10 to 15 minutes long. We have to try to maintain it up in that coliseum instead of getting up or moving around. You can distract the stars on stage, as well as the guests still enjoying the show around you. But if you do choose to leave, we do have to do so quickly, quietly, and completely. And while exiting, please stick to those back walls and do not approach this half wall in front of me, as you will be with this wild animal right up here on stage. And just a friendly reminder, while visiting with us today, both here at the Sea Lion Coliseum, as well as both inside and outside of the Long Island Aquarium, that we keep those face masks up and above our face at all times, and so that we keep other guests, yourselves, our, excuse me, our staff, as well as our animals, safe from this deadly virus. Also, while visiting with us today, please try to make sure that you are following our one-way flow through paths through the aquarium. And while exiting the Sea Lion Coliseum today, please only exit through these glass doors to my left, and please try to keep a space between other parties. But all right, now with all those rules out of the way, I asked how you were doing before. You made a little bit of noise, but it is a beautiful day, and it is our last Sea Lion show of the day, so I think we do better than we did before. So what do you all say? Are you ready for a show? Yeah! 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 That is much better. Hello, and welcome to the Sea Lion Coliseum, sponsored by B&B Bank. My name is Courtney, and I will be the host of your show, and joining us right up here will be the Sea Lion Superstar of our show. Now she goes by the name of Bunker. Now Bunker is 19 years old. She weighs in at a very ladylike 185 pounds. And joining Bunker today will be her good friend and trainer, Colleen. Now you all did an excellent job making all that noise for me before. This is where all that applause really does count. Let's put those hands together and welcome our star to their Water. I'm going to 
first time, leave our arms while swimming. Now, of course, their size in the Jewish seal also has bright flippers, how they are much shorter, and use them in the opposite manner, use them to steer themselves to the water rather than pull themselves. And the second difference can be found in the rear flippers. Now, doing something called a rotatable hip bone, Bumper has the ability to tuck her rear flippers up and underneath her, making her very mobile out here on land, allowing her to follow her top colleague back and forth on stage without any problem. Now, her size of the true seal lacks that rotatable hip bone, so when they come out on land, they look a little bit silly. Now, Bumper has been in the front of the aquarium. She has seen what her cousin looks like when they try to walk around on land. They come up with quite the impression. So, Bumper Lady, what do you think your cousin looks like in action? That's right, like a big old fuzzy and worm scooching around on their belly. Let's give it up for our comedian. She is being very silly today. And that silly as she is being, she is correct. When her cousin and she still tries to walk around on land, they scooch around their bellies with those rear flippers stuffed out behind them. What the next difference can be found in their ears? Now, if you take a close look at the head of Bumper's head, you'll know that she has external ear flops. These external ear flops are called pinnacles. And the true seal, the last piece of the neck, and the they have small circular openings behind each one of their eyes. Colleen, pointing these pennies out for you all today. And these final numbers can be found in their necks. Now, felines have a very long and very flexible neck. Colleen, show me just how long Bumper's neck is today. Which not anyone seemed impressed by that girl, so I think we're going to have to step it up a notch. Alright folks, you see Bumper's neck is actually so long. And so flexible, she can touch her nose all the way to her back. Check that out. Now that is some impressive flexibility. I wouldn't try that one at home. Now her cousin, the true seal, has just as flexible as her neck. It is just not nearly as long as the California sea lions. And now that you know some of these differences, please be sure to check out the habitat behind me after our show, as well as our true seal habitat up at the front of the aquarium, and see if you can point these differences out for yourself. Now we like to train our animals, keep them both mentally and physically stimulated. So Bumper learning a new behavior is kind of like us going to school and learning something new, while their more higher energy behaviors are kind of like when we go to the gym to get our exercise in or play in the playground. Now Bumper's favorite way to keep physically fit is by actually showing off her dance moves. So what do y'all say? Do you want to see Bumper dance today? Yes! That's what we thought. So we are going to get her favorite song on. When you hear that beat, clap your hands to the rhythm. All right, you too. I hear your jam. Bust a move. Now we train our animals in one of two ways. 
The first way that we train our animals is through called capturing. Now what capturing means is that our animals actually come up with a behavior on their own. If we like that behavior, we can feed them for it, and then they're going to offer that behavior more often, and then we are able to tag a hand signal to it. Now one of the behaviors that Bumper Comet came up with on her own are actually her porpoising jumps. So I think she's going to demonstrate these porpoising jumps for you all today. Feel free to applaud Bumper while she's doing these porpoising jumps. The higher you applaud, the higher you applaud, the higher she'll jump. behaviors like those porpoising jumps that Bumper just demonstrated, we can actually add a little bit of flair to them. So one of the ways we're able to flare up those porpoising jumps is by actually having her jump through a hoop. Now Bumper is going to demonstrate this all for you next. So let's put those hands together for her again. See if she can do it. or targeting. Now what targeting means is our animals learn to actually place and hold their nose to our fence. And once they're comfortable with that behavior, we can transfer it to other objects, such as that red and white movie on a stick called a target pole, or even some of their favorite toys with that very cool wall spin it high above the water. Now you see once our animals are comfortable targeting these different objects, we can move them around and we can shape some really cool behaviors like jumping. Now you see that ball did start at the surface of our water, and over time we've been able to raise it higher and higher to the point where it's at today. But I don't know y'all, that ball's looking awfully high today. This is our grand finale. Why don't we put our hands together for Bumper one more time? <laughs> All right, that lady, what do you think you touch that ball? <laughs> Way to go, lady, and what a splash. That you see for that behavior, as well as all the behaviors today during our show, Bumper has been rewarded with lots and lots of her favorite food, which of course is fish. Now that is called positive reinforcement. That is how we train all of our animals here at the Long Island Aquarium. But unfortunately, with that big splash, it is going to bring our show to an end. You all have been a wonderful audience. Let's give it up one more time for our guys. Thank you. 